Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I decided to do another daily vibe because the last one got interrupted so badly. Uh, so I figured, well, you know, I think I'll just do another one. So we are just going to see what comes up with this deck right here. You know, when that happens, I have to look at it. I do. I mean, there's all everything happens for a reason. I don't know what was on the bottom of this deck because I didn't look. So, the magician. The magician. So, it does look like... It looks like this guy is coming up with a plan. He is coming up with a plan. Very, take a look at that. This guy looks like he's coming up with a plan. He's, he's writing something down. Um, he's thinking. He's thinking hard about something. Because now I have lights on both sides. It may not focus. So, hmm. I'm going to have to put this back over here. Do some sort of uh, shuffling around. Interesting. But you notice there's a light right here. So he, he something, it, something is being illuminated. This is the magician, okay? This guy is coming up with a plan. He's he's writing something out. He's uh, about to do something. Something um, that is going to... I think it's going to be shocking, okay? So he's, he's this guy is very skilled. He's very smart. This is going to be an eye opener. It's going to leave people in awe. So this is going this is going to be a very we have somebody here that is coming up with something. He's coming up with something. Scheming something up. Whether it's good or bad, we're going to find out, but we do have this person who is very smart and he is coming up with a plan. He's coming up with something that is going to leave people or somebody in awe. So this guy is, is thinking. He's making a plan. So we do have somebody here that is making a plan. He's planning something. He's thinking hard. He is. He's thinking hard. He's using all of his, his senses. He's using his intuition. Um, he's using his previous knowledge. Yeah, this guy is one heck of a smart person. Coming up with something. Hierophant. Mm. Hierophant. So he, yeah, he's a divine connection as well. So he's, this, so this is a divine connection. This is a divine connection. So we do have somebody here that has a connection with a, with the divine, with the higher power. Okay. So there's, this guy is really uh, sitting and, and listening, observing, reflecting on what he's hearing. So he's, he's digging deep. So we have somebody here that is digging very, very deep. They are. This is, this is somebody who is, uh, it's like they're asking and they are receiving. So this person is asking, what do I do? And getting the message. But this person is a believer. Okay, this guy believes in magic. He believes in a higher power. So we have this, the magician does. Okay, this per person believes in a higher power. So because he believes, he is receiving the message. So this guy is, is receiving, knows what he has to do. He's about to take action. Right now he's coming up with the plan. So he is coming up with, how am I going to do this? This is an inventor of sorts, okay? He's a manifester. He's very intelligent, and he does have a divine connection. And I'm saying he, but it could be a she, okay? This is a person that is coming up with a plan. Now, this could also be an entity that is beyond um, this realm, okay? Because these are both majors, okay? So this could be the universe. This is, this is a plan that is being made right now. And this is a divine plan, put it that way, okay? And it's funny because the last one I just did was divine intervention. This is absolutely, positively divine intervention right here, okay? 
Um, this is this is a oneness with God, a oneness with a higher power. And this is a very powerful individual because of his uh, beliefs, because this is about beliefs. This is a believer, that's for darn sure. And this person is definitely getting the message. Anyway, let's keep going. Ooh, the lovers about about a lover. So we do we this guy is, has been asking for the answer, getting the answer about a choice. So he is receiving the answer. Okay? We do have somebody here that is receiving the answer. And it's about a commitment. It is about it because these are both commitments. So this guy is asking and he's getting the answer about a commitment. Now there's a choice. There's a choice between two. Now this is a card of consequences. It's a card of consequences. So somebody may be making a choice in bet between two people and realizing that somebody is going to be left behind because if you notice we got somebody here in the background so somebody is going to you know there's a choice you can't you can't have both i don't know this there's too much uh light here should focus any minute should should is a shoulda woulda coulda maybe not there is somebody in the in the background, but the camera's not uh, cooperating with me. But there's the person in the background. So we do have a choice. It looks as though these two people are. Oh, you know, when they're holding hands, it looks like they're meant... I mean, this looks like it's meant to be, to me. It's a very comfortable... There's a very comfortable opportunity here, a comfortable partnership. It's like this person is taking this person by the hand. So somebody is coming to uh, console, maybe? Because this could be, like, consoling or... Um, help even this could be help another person it looks like there's somebody in the background that is watching or is is coming or you know it looks like there's some stormy weather as well so this is an unexpected choice this guy is, is in the process of getting ready to take action he's heard the message this is definitely about a commitment he's making a choice between two he knows he has to take action but the magic magician has to be willing to shed the old to bring in the new so this guy has asked for this divine connection and it is a divine connection and here it is but now he has to take action and he's you know there ha this has to do with a commitment and making a choice he definitely has to make a choice between two and he's been struggling to make Make the choice but I think now he knows what he has to do because this connection is so real it's so easy it's so compatible this is who he wants it's like I that's who I want and I feel like there is somebody that is that is uh, watching and probably isn't happy and knows that uh, they're they're not being chosen so I think that there's somebody in the background that knows that whoever that they're dealing with is about to choose somebody else put it that way that's what I see. I feel like this is a big major choice. We have the first three cards are majors. So this is definitely a major choice here. We have, and this is a masculine energy. If you were to look up the magician card, it's a masculine energy. So it feels like we have a masculine that is making a choice. And it's a choice between two. And it does have to do with commitment and marriage and who he wants to be with. So this masculine is in the process of coming up with a plan. He's been asking for the answer and I think that he has received it. Um, we're not going to get a, little, a lot of cards this time. I do not believe. I don't think we need him. You notice there's three cards here. These are all majors. So it's like the, there's a higher power involved. The universe is involved in this divine connection. This is absolutely positively a divine connection it is it's easy it's easy to see it's easy to feel okay um these two people have shared values okay they they are uh very connected to each other it's feel it's like a healing love okay 
So looks like we have a Gemini, we have a Taurus, and a Gemini. So I don't know if we're dealing with a Gemini. It doesn't have to be, but these are both Geminis and this is a Taurus, but it doesn't matter. Um, either way, it looks like we have a masculine, and this is a masculine that is, 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 this guy is like taking this person by the hand. It's almost like he's saying, it's all right, I'm here for you. It's all right, uh, um, something like that. That's what I feel like it is. Um, oh my gosh, another major judgment, judgment. This is a judgment call. Truth is being revealed making a life-changing decision and this is it so we have a masculine and it is a masculine and you guys don't have to like me I know that it is I know that it is we have a masculine that is making a life-changing decision he is he is ready he is ready to be judged he is ready for a commitment he is ready to uh, let the universe drive because this is the universe. He is ready to follow his gut. He is ready for commitment. He is ready for, I mean, this could also be a confession. We could have a masculine that is confessing his love. Okay. Honestly. Okay. Now this is, and if you've seen the rainbows, this is peace. Okay. This could be like even a peace offering and judgment. It looks like, um, and this card, I, I don't know what's going on here, but this is God. Okay, this is a God. And this is a decision being made. A decision to go, this is a soulmate. To go after a soulmate. And there could be a reunion here. Okay, there, with the judgment card. There could be a reunion between soulmates. It's like, it's time. It's time. This guy, he knows that it's time. This is a gut, gut drive okay the gut the intuition okay so and higher power so there's a godly power that is giving somebody the message that it's time okay the judgment card is time it's time for this uh spiritual awakening it's time for this to, e to end judgment is an ending it really is okay this is being held accountable this is uh acting responsibly this is um absolution Okay, it's a release. It's a renewal. It's letting go. You notice this This guy is like ready. Okay, he's ready. He's ready to go. And you notice that's God. Okay, he's, he's ready. He's ready. He's ready to go. He's ready for forgiveness. Okay, somebody may be asking for forgiveness. Okay, um, it's a time of forgiveness. I don't know why that isn't um, focusing. I didn't, the camera did fall, so I don't know if a button hit or what. But this is, you could say that it's judgment day. Somebody is ready to come forward with the truth. They're ready to release. They're ready to start over. Um, this is also a card of karma. Okay. So there's definitely, um, the universe is in control here. We have a major uh, choice that is being made to release and surrender to God. Okay, surrender to a higher power. This is a surrender. It really is. And this is a higher power. So, it uh, feels like we have a reconciliation between soulmates. And this could be past life because judgment is a past life card. It really is. So, this, this could be a past life connection or somebody from the past. There could be a reconciliation with somebody that you have known before. Okay, that you have known in another lifetime. Okay, we know people in, in previous lifetimes that we haven't met in this lifetime. Or this could be somebody from your past. There is definitely somebody that is being left behind. Because these two people are meant to be together. This is, this is, this is meant to happen. Okay, there's a higher power involved. Okay, it's like uh, somebody, I feel like there's been some prayers that have been answered as well. This guy is looking at commitment. He is looking at God. He has a lot of faith. Um, he believes. He believes in the higher power. This is this is um, surrendering, really surrendering. Now, rainbows are difficulty is over. Okay, so there's a couple rainbows here. So it's like ready to leave behind the difficulty. Um, it's like, and if you notice, the wind is blowing. This is the winds of change. Then something is about to change. This guy is, we have a masculine that is headed into a perfect union with somebody that he feels very, very, very comfortable with. And there is another person that, 
knows it's coming and knows that they are being left behind. Put it that way. This person knows. The, the third party knows. So anyway, this masculine is definitely about to take action. He is. He has been divinely guided that it is time. This is time. It's time to uh, release. So yeah, we have a, we have a, a major life decision that is being made. This is big. Okay, these are all universe cards. This is a big, huge decision in regards to a commitment. So, um, two lovers that have known each other before are about to be committed. They're about to get into a, some sort of commitment. They're about to come together. They're about to reunite. And this doesn't have to be somebody that you met in this lifetime. This is the answer to your prayers. If you are already in a commitment and you're happy, you're in a happy commitment, I would say that uh, this is deepening, deepening a bond. Or this is this is absolution though. I mean this could be going to heaven. I just gotta be honest with you. I mean I can't just not say this. And perhaps the person that they love is in heaven. I mean I'm just I gotta be honest with you. This is a reunion. We have a reunion here. A reconciliation between two people that are meant to be. Whether you've met them in this lifetime or not. This is the deepening of a bond. That is meant to be. And that's what I got. Good luck. 